to make the marks you need to add the cylinder then take it on the floor after that you need to go to the edit mode and then select this bottom face control b add bevel add there add a two segment bevel then select this top face use the insert operation and then e to extrude it and move it along the z axis then control b add two segment bevel then select this top face loop and e to extrude it and then scale it along the x and y axis now you need to add the loop cuts like this and you need to press alt s to scale them along the normal to create that neck of the mug is that curved torus form after that you need to add the sub d modifier and increase it count up to 2 and then shade smooth it now you need to select this face loops and you need to use the insert operation add there and then you need to add few more supporting loop cuts on the model so you can use the insert edge loop for that after that you need to add the bunch of loop cuts at here and then you need to select the faces with the side view and then you need to extrude these faces to create the handle use the simple transform tools and then create that handle as like this after that you need to select these faces and you need to delete these faces then select these edge loops and then right click bridge edge loop to connect them after that you can add the loop cut like this and now just you need to give the right position to these edge loops and then you can select these edge loops and you can use the state flow add there to maintain the good edge flow add there on the model then you can select these words and you can scale them along the z axis and then just adjust the position of the words little bit to maintain the good curve handle then you can select this face and then delete this and use the grid fill add there same thing you need to do at the bottom side also use the grid fill and then create a decent looking form at the bottom side also then go to the uv editing tab and then start to add the seams on the models control e and mark seam you need to add the seams in the right way so you can easily uv unwrap it because it's a cylindrical form you can see the way I'm adding the seams on the model. You need to add the seams like this. After that, you need to select everything and then UV and U unwrap. So you will get this kind of UV unwrapping add there. Then go to the shading tab and create a new texture. And here I have assigned the simple PBI texture which I have created in the Substance Painter. After that, go to the render view and change the render engine to the cycle. Then you need to add the blend and you need to create a simple backdrop add there. Then you need to add the camera and create a good composition add there. Then go to the color management and change the look to the high contrast. Then you can go to the compositing tab and here you need to use the denoise filter to denoise your render image. And then go to the shading tab and here you can adjust the rotation of your HDRI for the better lighting condition. Then you can decrease the roughness of your backdrop so you will get a decent looking reflection add there. Then hit the render button. And there you go, here is your final render. So this is your salad mug. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye. So next video, take care.